Hello everyone. We are coming to you today from the Cowichan Valley again. This has to be one of our favorite places to ride our gravel bikes. And as you can see, the summer is over. Winter, it feels, is just around the corner. How are you feeling, Catherine? Fabulous. Happy to be out, even in the rain. Would we ever have done this on our road bikes? <laughs> are you kidding me? So, tomorrow we are participating in the Burnt Bridge Gravel Fondo. And the weather tomorrow is not supposed to be any better than it is today. But tomorrow, we short yeah, we may be doing the shorter version. But tomorrow is a significant milestone for me because this is my first race as a 60 year old. So come along for our little shakeout ride on the Couch and Valley Rail Trail. As I say, this is going to be my first race as a 60-year-old. I think that's one of the reasons I've been able to stay fairly motivated and try to maintain my fitness. Signing up for events like this just gives me something to look forward to and work towards. Even if I'm not really going to be all that competitive. Catherine and I were really disappointed that our uh, Trans Rockies Gravel Royale event was cancelled because of wildfires, but we have signed up for a couple of events in late September, obviously this one, and October. And then the season will be over, but we've got some great riding plans for the winter. So you might want to stay tuned to see what we're going to do over the winter months. So, how are you feeling about tomorrow? Okay. Not so sure about making the cutoff time for the longer course, but uh, I mean, we're not doing the big, big course. It'll be fun in any event. I actually... Um, I want to see the scenery of the 77K that we're doing, but we'll see how the day pans out. Some of you might be wondering what it's like to race gravel bikes in your 60s. And in many ways, it's a lot more fulfilling than competing in triathlon in my 30s and 40s. Triathlon just always seemed to be so competitive. Whereas to me, gravel biking is more about the experience than the results. And I really appreciate that in my 60s. And that's what I mean about appreciating the experiences of gravel riding. Just getting out into these beautiful locations. It's just so invigorating. Um, and I think as I get older, I'm appreciating the experiences more and worrying less about where I place in my age group. I mean, I really don't bother even looking at results any longer, just because for me, it's really just about getting out and being active. That's not to say the races don't serve a purpose. They give me something to work towards, and I do find that I'm working hard to stay as fit as I possibly can. Because I still want to be doing stuff like this in another 10 years. So signing up for races, signing up for events, 
really gives you something to work towards, keeps you motivated. Remember when we crossed the bridge on the, um, the couch and crusher? Oh, down to the left. Okay, so that's the end of our shakeout ride. We're gonna head back to the start of the ride. Last time we were here, there were Belgian waffle signs on the bridge. Right? Let's go fast for a little bit. Beautiful place to grow like. It is just so magical. Even on a wet wintry day like today. I think the other thing that sort of kept me gravel biking at 60 is I just find this so much easier on my body. Triathlon always sort of beat me up, whereas I find the gravel riding a whole lot more gentle. And after my knee surgery, it was important for me to find something to keep me fit and not destroy my leg or my knee. You know why they call this race the Burnt Bridge Gravel Condo? Yeah. Why? Because there's a burnt bridge. Where? Um, it's on the 77K course. Maybe about three quarters of the way through. So that's where you do a really steep descent apparently. 15 point something percent. But we're okay. Done the death drop. Then you get three. <laughs> Can't remember if the, if the bridge is before or after a big climb. We'll see whether we actually do the 77 kilometer event tomorrow. If it's miserable, we'll just do the 37 kilometer. And that's the nice thing about being 60. No one's going to accuse you of being a wimp.
have to say I was a little disappointed that there isn't a 60 plus category in tomorrow's race. I have to wait another five years before I get in that special category. I really can't think of a nicer place to do my first gravel bike race as a 60 year old than the Couch Valley Rail Trail. This has to be, I think, my favorite place to ride my gravel bike. If you get a chance, you need to come to the Couch and Valley. Are you enjoying the ride? It's wonderful. Okay, so that's our shakeout ride for tomorrow's race. Hope you enjoyed the video. Tune in and see how we did on the actual race. Anyway, thanks for watching. And until we ride again, take care.